hi everyone welcome to my channel this is Remy Roy and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create your very own book cover in Canva so if you're an author and you were writing a book or you were trying to create a cover and you're like I just want to create something myself you can absolutely do it in Canva I'm gonna show you how I got my how I created my own book cover and this is my book cover this is it in PDF and it ultimately looks like this. So I'm going to show you how I got this um, effect, all of this, just this design by using Canva. I'm going to show you how I got this design in Canva and I didn't have to pay anyone to do it. I know that book covers can be expensive, but depending on what you're going for, you might actually be able to create it yourself and save yourself a lot of money. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now when you go to Canva if you already are familiar with Canva this is amazing just sign in and go to um, just the space where you can choose a template but I'm not going to be using a template today but I'm going to show you if you are going to use a template how easy it can be so this is your um, you know your back end in your account in Canva all you have to do is click the plus sign here because we're looking for the template for book covers right so you can use it for ebooks or even for paperback. So you scroll down here to blogging and ebooks, and right here is an ebook, you know, template cover. There's another one, the Kindle cover. So you can use any of this. So if you click on the Kindle cover, for instance, when it comes up, yeah. So you're gonna have the design, and the good thing about the Kindle cover is that you already have templates that you can choose from. Okay, so under the layout here, you have just examples of kindle covers that you can choose from most of them are not free so um you have to decide how much you know you want to spend so i mean it's it's relatively inexpensive but if you're looking for something free you can absolutely do that so this is a free um version for instance let me see another this is another free version that you can use this is free so a couple of ones are free right here so all you have to do and this is free let me click on this I mean this looks amazing it's just a simple but very beautiful image with a simple uh, text overlaid and it looks amazing it's gonna look wonderful in any format when you you know have this printed on a book you know so you can absolutely go ahead and do that so if you want to change the image just click on this one you can drag it out delete it and put in something else you know depending on what you want to do and then you can change the text and all of that but I'm going to show you how to do a Kindle cover or um, ebook cover. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to create an ebook cover without a template because I created mine without a template because I was looking for a particular size that I couldn't get in Canva. So that's why I did that. So I'm going to close this and we're going to use the custom dimensions. So because we don't have a template that works for us, I'm going to use the custom dimensions. Now, the size for my book is in inches and it's 5.25 by 8 inches that's the size of my book so i'm going to type in it's already here but i'll type it in 5.25 for the width and the length is 8 inches and then click design so it's going to give you a canvas to work with so this is the exact size that you want for your book cover so for the front uh, cover i'm going to use this layout for the front cover okay Remember, this is what it's going to look like. Awesome. So what you need now is your image. Okay. Like I said, this is a tutorial for beginners. So if you're just starting out or you feel like, okay, you've never done this before, you just want to try it, this is for you. I know that there's different ways that you can create a cover. They're very complicated covers that look amazing. But if you're looking for something simple that you can do yourself and that still works, this is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my image. So I have an image that I have, I have put in, in here that I'm going to use for the cover. I'm going to click and bring it in and just cover the whole canvas with this image. It's a beautiful image of a young woman smiling. It's a very catchy image. It's joyful. You know, it's cool. And that's what I want to use for my book. Okay. So this is the base image. Everything I'm going to do is going to go on top of this image. Okay. So this is the front cover, like I said. So to create that effect, I used uh, a brush stroke okay, because I was looking for something simple that will really pop but not you know 
take too much because I don't have all of the skills, you know, to use the high end um, software to create a cover. And I was trying to save money. So I went ahead here and searched for brush stroke. Okay. So I was looking for something that really works for me. And I ended up going with the first one right here. Now, as you can see, this is not free, but it's just a dollar. Okay. It's just a dollar. So, I mean, I can pretty much afford that. So just click on that and it'll put in the brush stroke on your image and then you can drag it wherever you want. So I want it right at the bottom. And if you want to stretch it out, just grab the corners of the image and stretch it out this way. And this is what I want to do. Okay. So it, it looks simple. The image, the brush stroke. Now, now I want to put the book title on the brush stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and put the book title here. Now for you to do that, you need to create a text. So you go to text right here on the left side of the, of the screen, click on text, and then you can use any of this te text templates. You can use any of this text templates, but I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to click on here. I'm just going to put in my title, which is Miss Unlikely. Okay. Then I can drag that right here over the Canva. Now, as you, as you will notice, the Canva element, this brush stroke here has like um, a watermark, the Canva watermark on it. And that's because it's not free. Okay. I have to pay for it. So it's not going to affect the design. So you're just going to go ahead and continue to, you know, your design. And when you're done, when you're going to download the, the cover, that's when it's going to prompt you to pay for that element. And then you can pay. And when you download it, the watermark is going to disappear. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. So the, so the font I want to use is Sinzel. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that and look for Sinzel because that font works for me and click on that. And then it changes that font. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to increase the size to 32 and then I'm going to make it white. So the controls above here is where you do all of the editing, the changing, you want to uh, make it bold. You want to change the color, the size, the font and all of that. So I'm going to click on here in the color wheel to pick a color. I'm going to make it white. Awesome. So I'm going to also make sure that it's centered on the page. Awesome. So you can see the lines that run vertical and the line that runs horizontal. So it is centered on the page. So that is it for that. All right. So the next thing I want to do is add my name because you know, the, the title and then the author's name. So I'm going to go ahead and create another, I might have to move this up a little to create some space for my name. So I'm going to add another text. Now you can go right here and click on subheading to create another text, or you can just um, duplicate this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click copy. As you can see, it has duplicated this text for me so that I can just edit the second one. So I'm going to click here and put my name on there. Now the font I want to use for my name is Julius Sands. I'm just going to go ahead and look for it. Yeah. Julius Sands one. I'm going to click on that. Then the size is 21. So Julia Sand in 21 is what I'm going to use for that. And I'm going to make sure it's centered on the page. So that's it. Now, so I have the book title. I have the book um, author, the author's name. Now I just want to put um, just like a byline. What exactly is it? It's a novel. It's a, is it a novel? Is it a novella? Is it whatever it is? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead right here and put another text. So I'm going to use the smaller text. I'm still going to increase it, but I'm going to put a novella because it's a novella. So I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use Cantora. Let me check for Cantora here. Cantora one for the font here. And the size is 24 and the color is orange. Okay, so which is actually the color of the brush stroke, the shade of orange, I think, of the brush stroke. So I'm going to put that up right here in her hair because that is the space where I, I believe that it will be legible enough, you know, easy to read. Because if I put it um, under here, it's too much text. I, I don't want to put it right here because 
the contrast between the font color and the background it's not really clear so this is the best place to put it very clear right here this is my front cover okay it's simple it's straight to the point it's fresh now we're going to move to the back cover okay Please subscribe to my channel and rate this video you can give it a thumbs up and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.